There's no definitely. You yeah, either was he wasn't, mate. So why would you just win? In, except no, it's, they don't ever say because he won the ring in that way. They just go the ring. So I just hate that as a general approach. Yeah, give me your first point. What's your first big picture point? Yeah, my first one to just even move the discussion away from achievement and ring culture is I just straight up think that Twist has better better aim. Uh, I think that just in in one facet of the game, which is obviously paramountly important to succeeding as a Counter Strike professional, uh, Twist has the better aim, and for that reason, I think that his time to kill is generally faster. I will say, and and also already to give Elise some credit, I think Elise has better spray. I think that that's where I would, I think Elyse, like I would, I'm not going to say comprehensively all mechanics twist is better than Elyse, but I think first bullet accuracy and consistency with finding that first bullet, I would give it to twist. Okay, right. Just one quick thing I've got to ask though. It's because you yourself just eliminated rings right out the gate. There's an obvious question I should ask as a follow-up, then I'll answer the point about the mechanics then why wait for this championship? Right? Surely what you said last year was already right. Surely after Cologne, he was... The, why, why concede the point to be on that show? Surely, But if that's the case, we're not doing rings at all. Wasn't he sort of always better than Liege? Was there some component that means it's now he's better? Okay, I, I would say another thing that I Twist had to get over Liege is a similar amount of longevity as a top-tier right. player. Okay, uh, so that's so, important to you? Yeah, longevity is important because I think that that's kind of why the... And I'm sure we could talk about this for a long time. This is why, like, Kenny S, you know, in these discussions always pops up, like, greatest offers yeah. ever, because his peak might have been the highest we've ever seen, but it's never, it's not just your peak. It's about how long you're able to keep yes. that up, how many tournaments you're able to keep imposing that onto people. By the way, I'll also say as well, now he's doing a much better job than most people who don't know my style of doing these shows and especially don't know my criteria. Because, for example, he already just phrased there, longevity is a top player. I despise longevity. You'll, we'll get to my hierarchy of values later, but put it to a spoiler, longevity isn't number one for me. And the reason why is because when most people say longevity, they just mean how long you played. So, for example, th there are people dumb enough where if the vice hadn't come back, they would have just said, based on longevity, it has to be Dupree, who's the best Danish, right? Because he played oh, long okay. games or more... That's the point. I, I, you notice I'm always about the qualitative angle as well. Don't just give me quantity, guys. So we don't care if for some reason, right, Twists retires tomorrow, but then Elise plays 10 more years as bad as last year. I'll never use that to say his longevity dwarfed him forever, you know. It's just when you're a top player. Because remember, draw it back to the beginning. We're talking about who's the greatest ever. We're talking about who's like who at the top and how long at the top. And these, Yeah, it's just logical. So I that was a great way to say it. So on the mechanics point, I would say this. You were also quite fair there, but I think in some ways, it's not that it undoes your point. It just shows how differently we con conceive of the concept of aim or mechanics. Right? A lot, as an aside, without going into it, sadly, mechanics is just a term we're all going to stick with and it's ruined completely because this is sound really weird, but it comes from StarCraft Brood War and WarCraft 3, except in those games, they actually use like uh apm differently from yeah. mechanics they usually mean like things like raw precision would be like the fucking mechanic uh, would be like aim or something like that or precision and then they mean by mechanics like how fluidly you can do everything sort of i would just say the reason why it doesn't really matter is in a game like counter strike it's sort of all the same you know what i mean like how you like for example if you don't know that would even be how you'd explain why simple can get more kills than Nico, but Nico looks like a better aimer. Nico has better mechanics. He's smooth, everything's slick and amazing. I would say Simple has, I mean, I don't know if he really does, but he looks like he has the greatest fire, time to firing of any player ever in all circumstances. So that's why he gets more kills, even like mechanically it's a discussion. So on that one, I would just say, like I just set up there, I would overall agree. Like if we're going on raw mechanics, there's a reason why I put config as, I mean, I'll just say it right now, number one Denmark. Doesn't mean I think he's the best overall player. Nowhere close to it. But I think if you were talking about the raw mechanical aspect, it's like it's like I always say, if I was going to steal this person's power, like I was one of those characters from like X-Men or something, I'd steal Config's powers, not Device's powers. The joke is, if I have Config's powers, but I don't have Config's brain, I think I can beat Device. Just take that quote of, I think I can beat Device. <laughs> take the context out, put it onto Reddit, do whatever you want with it. Make me famous, motherfuckers. I can't get any more famous. So anyway, it's good stuff. So what I'd say is, I agree with the overall point. But I do think when you say, because you admit it, that Elise has the better spray. By the way, 
Actually, Twist has underrated spray. People don't know. He's, but, the, but the joke is, because he's so good at two bulleting people in the head, you don't have yeah. to see it that often. So you actually probably don't know maybe random people out there. The Twist has very good aim too. This isn't like, you know, when people do like Forest versus Get Right, it's not that extreme a difference in my opinion. Like, Elise is a very, very skilled player. Like I always said, because I also know how to craft my comments for my audience. I always used to say, I always thought in his prime, Elise is like Cold Zero, but with even better aim. Because, you know... <laughs> Because you can just imagine when that en- when that enters like inception into their brain, mate. <laughs> it just blo- they can't they can't even process it. Like it just because blo- they're thinking I'm saying he's better than Cold Zero, he's one more, all that crap. So what I would say is this: I also do think spray is a different type of aim, and so that's why when you say it's consistent, yeah, it's consistent. He's consistently better at the uh, the first bullet, the first two bullets. Uh, uh, by the way, it literally the joke is as well. Both of these guys know exactly what rolling count strike to do because their skill sets match their role exactly. And that's actually why, by the way, if you put both of them in different roles, they got way worse. Because if you put Elite uh, Twists into some sort of an entry type scenario, he's on his own, he makes up, then yes, he uses the, that aim to destroy people. If you have to, Elise just some sort of a follow up player, a player coming, then he, then he uses his spray to destroy people. And that's also, by the way, think about the roles. That's more consistent against people with lower health, for example. That's how you get the kills. So I would even say that is a different type of aim, but I concede the point. I would say overall for raw mechanics, yeah, I'd give it to a twist. But again, I don't think it's by a crazy margin. I think it's a bit. And then I'd also say, let me think how to say this. We'll get to this later, but the thing is, I don't really put stuff like mechanics that high. Like I give you the example there. It's a pretty good exa- give, example to give, right? I think, I think actually, I, I don't even know how arguably, I think config has way better mechanics than device, but I think device is a way greater player. So why is that so high up? Is that just the first point? Is that the most important point to you? It's not the most important. It's just one that like sets the tone that we're just right. not talking numbers. Oh, and that's achievements. good. Yeah. It's something that we're, we're visualizing that we're obviously, yes, you know, we're thinking about how they play and all the things we've seen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So is there more to say on this point? Um, I think that, it, I think that it's obviously if you want to rebut of, any of our points, just jump in after obviously. Yeah. I think that it mo- more or less speaks for itself in just the, you know, the composite picture of a player. I don't think that you need to necessarily expand upon it. It's usually, it's like, if I think about someone's mechanics or aim, like, you know, that's probably 20% of who they are. Yeah. Total. yeah. And, uh, so I don't think that's, it needs, it's not like an end-all be-all. No, no. It's just oh, a that's, starter. Just, yeah, just to I, kick it off. I also will say it is good to set the table because the joke is if we had actually have done the real conversation about Stevie 2K, to see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content, well, subscribe to this channel then or, you know, be a pleb and don't.